Okay, sweetheart, do you have the big yellow book on the right page? Okay, here it goes. Let's give it our best shot. After kisses and snuggles, when Mama Bear was all done with stories, she closed the storybook and kissed mwah, Little Bear goodnight. Then off to bed and over to Big Papa Bear, who swoosh, swooshed Baby Bear up onto his big, broad Papa Bear shoulders. As they headed toward the room, <laughs> Watch your head, said Mama, and Little Bear ducked just in time to make it into the snug little bedroom. With Little Bear on his shoulders, Papa Bear sat down on the big squeaky bed. Squeak! As the owl outside went, hoo, hoo. Okay, Little Bear, climb on down. But Little Bear didn't move and stayed up on Papa's shoulders. And Papa got kind of sleepy. Was Papa falling asleep? Oh, oh, oh. oh he woke up. Whoa. Where's Little Bear? said Papa Bear. He looked over. Hmm, there's no furry little head on the pillow. He looked under the pillow. There's no furry little head under the pillow. Where's Little Bear? He didn't see Little Bear up on his shoulders. And he didn't seem to feel somebody tickling his ear, like Bella's ear. Oh, then he spied a big lump at the bottom of the bed. Aha! Could that be Little Bear? Hmm, but it doesn't wiggle or giggle. No, it's just... What is it, sweetie? That's right. It's just a teddy bear and a pinchy bunny waiting for Little Bear, just like your pinchy bunny and your little unicorn is waiting for you. Hmm, where could Little Bear be? Mama, said Papa Bear coming out of the bedroom, that Little Bear is hiding. Hmm, have you checked under the stove? said Mama Bear, who is always in for a good joke. I'll check. Ho, little bear! Bing, 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 bing. Hello, little bear! said Papa Bear, banging in pan the pots and pans on top of the stove. Hello, little bear! Then Papa Bear reached his hand under the stove and felt something kind of furry. Was it little bear? No, it was just Papa's old winter mitten. Hmm, said Papa Bear. Perhaps he's hiding out on the front lawn. Maybe if I open the door really quietly. Ah! Aha! said Papa Bear. But no, it was just a bunch of little fat bunnies nibbling in the garden. Shoo! 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 said Papa. Shoo! I think someone is hiding in the wood box, said Mama Bear. Maybe if you sneak over quietly, you can find them. Tiptoe, tiptoe. Ah! Eek! Squeak! No, in the wood box there was just a... A wee mouse. Hmm, said Papa Bear, crawling on a tall chair. Little Bear doesn't seem to be on top of the china cabinet. Ouch! said Little Bear, bumping his head. Who said ouch? Mama, did you say ouch? Not I, said Mama. Where could that little bear be, said Papa Bear, as he cut himself a big slice of chocolate cake. He can't have run away, not a little bear who's always hungry for chocolate cake. Just then, Papa Bear stopped in front of the mirror and... Oh, said Papa Bear, and he saw a little bear on his shoulders. I found you. You couldn't find me, said Baby Bear. I found you now, said Papa Bear, and swoosh over to the couch with Mama Bear went the baby. Then after the cake, Papa took the little bear under his big furry arm and carried him back to bed and laid him down and kissed him goodnight. Did I really fool you, Papa? Papa just smiled and winked and kissed the little bear goodnight. Do you think that Papa knew all the time? I love you girls.